What's Gucci, everybody? My name is Quest Good or Quest for short, and I have a raging headache. So welcome back to the third episode of the 10 mil to Max Cape series. I apologize for the delay on this video. However, I have been continuing on with the slower merches that take more time, uh, expanding margins. If you haven't seen that video, I, I strongly suggest you take a look at it. I will have a link in the description, and there should be an annotation if I remember. Now my computer is actually almost completely full on disk space, so I can't actually record anything today. However, I do have a ton of screenshots to show you. So firstly, we've got these offhand Draugr Mace shards I was experimenting with. Now I used to do these a bit, and I find that they give me much better margins than just downright flipping the actual, uh, the actual Draugr itself. Usually when you flip a Draugr, you can get up to about a mil profit, usually at best, uh, more recently, I've been not able to obtain such margins. However, with the shards to Drygor method that I uh, have in this video here, I usually get anywhere up to about a 3 mil profit, which is actually outstanding. So what I do to do these is, firstly, I will price check the uh, one shard, like you would price check any other item, buy low, or buy high, sell low. And if I like the margins, firstly, I will take a look at the the uh, price I bought it for, which will be the price you would normally sell that item for. If I find that it gives me a decent margin that is below the um, the price I'd sell the Draugr for, then I would just downright insta-buy the rest, the other 119 shards uh, for that price and make it quickly and sell it for a very quick profit. However, that's generally not the case, as was with this one. So I bought one shard sold it back and put in my offer for another 119 shards and once those sold which didn't take too long I'd say probably an hour maybe an hour and a half at max to buy uh, what I did was I asked my friend to buy one shard for me and then I bought it off of him for the same price that I bought the others for so and that there was my drugger right there uh, 1.66 mil profit great margin for a quick uh, mace flip the thing about this was we started with 22.3 mil, and so I bought all the shards for just under that, about 21,840k. So uh, if I tried to buy the actual offhand drug or mace and sell it for some measly 1 mil profit, uh, I would not have been able to afford it. So shards saved the day. And this next cl uh, clip, the screenshots are a little smaller, so I apologize for that. However, I do the same thing. This is a different uh, mace, same offhand mace, because I like offhand maces. And I bought the shards. They bought fairly quickly. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was overnight sort of thing. I bought some, as you can see, I only have 65 in the Grand Exchange slot. That must have meant that I took some out and tried selling the shards to make a nice profit, but unfortunately they didn't sell. So, uh, fortunately for me though, the rest of the shards did buy, so I was able to make the mace and eventually sell it. However, the margins did change for me when I was selling the, uh, the Jugger Mace. So I believe I had to wait about three days before this mace actually sold. Uh, but again, I made some profit, so it was, it was worth it. Not necessarily time-wise. I could have been flipping other things in the meanwhile. However, this was still a, um, still a success in the sense that I didn't lose money. A lot of people just tend to panic sell their items when the margins change, not seeing or understanding that the margins will most likely rise again. So what I like to do is I just hang on to the item. I don't panic sell it, and I'll just keep it in the Grand Exchange, and eventually, eventually, most of the time, it will sell. Okay, next up we've got a different example. Now here is, it's similar example to the buying the mace shards and making the weapon and selling that for a greater profit than uh, just buying the weapon and selling it. Here I bought Serenic Scales. Uh, you need 14 scales and one Algerium thread to form a Serenic Mask. Now what I did was, I only, I've only got the screenshot for 10 that I bought. As you can see here, I instant bought one at 461k. And I did the math and I uh, found that that was a great margin. It gave me just about one mil, and so I insta bought the other nine, so I didn't need to uh, sell that one back. And then I went to my friend and asked him to purchase uh, another four from the Grand Exchange and sell them to me for that price again. 
And then the Elgarium thread you can buy from Ocellius, I think his name is, outside of the Ascension dungeon. Uh, he sells them for 500k each, which is a few k less than what they sell for in the Grand Exchange. So these are overall generally safe, especially with all the Araxor hype that's been going on. Uh, Serenix has been on the rise, and the scales usually are a little slow to catch up. That's just along with the uh, Dragger Mace shards. So I made about 1.084k. Um, so I made just a little under 1.1 mil from this flip. It was a, a pretty quick flip, probably in less than 30 minutes, because I insta-bought the Serenix scales. So uh, the only problem with this one is finding a friend who is willing to uh, buy the scales for you. But other than that, it's a great flip. Now here we go again with another example of the scales to Serenic uh, flipping. I tried it on a much lar larger scale with 42 Serenic scales. I've only got the screenshot of 41, however. Uh, and I was insta-buying these for a few, well, several hours, really. The max you can buy per four hours is 10. So I would insta-buy 10 at a time every four hours. And I just left this in overnight. I went to work in the morning. Uh, and by the time I got back, all these 41 had bought, and I already had one extra in the bank. So that was pretty much it. I just bought the three thread required to make the Hallberg, because I did the math, uh, seeing what I could do. I could have made three Serenic Masks, uh, a Serenic Chaps, and a Mask, or one Serenic Hallberg. And the Hallberg gave me just slightly more profit than the other two. So I made 2.9 mil from that flip, that very easy overnight flip. Next up, this is the gold mine of this episode. This is where I made almost all my cash, uh, probably about 80% of it. Seismic Singularity Shards. Again, I'm, I'm loving the shards. It's ridiculous. I just discovered these for this episode. And if you take a look at the top one, the margins were changing all while I was doing them, so the prices aren't exactly correct. However, I uh, did a lot of them, and I don't have all the screenshots, so I can't exactly uh, know what price I did. I'm sure I'm probably even forgetting a few screenshots, but just take a look at this. The first row, uh, these are ones that I, n that I did manage to take both screenshots for, because I'm that impressive where I can forget for the rest of them. And I made 9.1 mil just off of 25 Seismic Singularity Shards. I was making about 365k per shard. That was absolutely insane. Uh, I price checked it and if you actually multiply that 365k times 120, it's 150 mil or something along that line. And uh, the Singularity itself was selling for, I'd say, 135 at the time. So I may have just been getting lucky with people price checking the shards and actually um, you know, selling them to me and buying mine. But uh, who knows? I made so much money off of this. Now, I know there was one where I just completely forgot to take both screenshots, so I included that in the second one here. 340k was about the um, buying price for both, uh, because the margins were changing as I was dealing with them, so I did have to adjust my prices accordingly. However, I still made 16.3 mil just off of two flips. Uh, this is excluding the 9.1 mil I made off of the other uh, Serenic Singular, or I'm sorry, Singularity Shard flip. And lastly here, I have uh, two more I want to show you. Uh, the one on the left was in the series. This was probably the first one I did, actually. Uh, it was, I sold 22 for just about 1.6 mil each, which was a 380k uh, profit per, which resulted in 8.3 mil profit in 22 shards. Uh, the one on the right is just me playing around with uh, some more shards with the rest of my cash stack that I had because this was such great money I wanted to uh, capitalize on it all I could. So I bought these ones and I, I probably made, uh, going with the 340k-ish um, margin, I probably made about 20 to 30 mil on 63 shards, which was absolutely amazing. I made so much money off of these. So I hope you all can enjoy them just as much as I did. Unfortunately, the margins continue to change and continue to lower. They were um, getting undercut and overcut the entire time at the end, so I just stopped doing them. In total, I made about 41 mil just from this episode. The uh, Without the Seismic Singularity Shards, I would have made about 5 mil. 
which is insane to think about. That's a, a ludicrous amount of money. I made 200% profit from the initial value we started with, which was 22.3 mil. And now the final cash deck for this episode is 63.3 mil. So that means in episode four, I'll be starting with 63.3 mil. And that will open the door to so many more flips and even greater margins and profits to be had. So I want to thank you all for watching. And I, pro I apologize for the short video. But uh, if you are liking the series and this video, uh, I ask that you leave a like, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe for more. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.